A four-year-old boy and a two-month-old girl remain in hospital here after developing a rare and severe inflammatory syndrome linked to COVID-19. Known as the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MISC, it's a condition where different body parts, including the heart, lungs, kidney, brain and eyes, can become inflamed. The symptoms include persistent fever above 38.5 degrees Celsius for three days or longer, with difficulty breathing, headache, neck swelling, rash, swollen hands and feet or abdominal pain. Well, here's what we know about the cases here. As at Saturday, November the 6th, a four-year-old boy is in children's ICU with his breathing supported by mechanical ventilation. He had tested positive for COVID-19 on September the 24th and admitted to hospital on November the 1st. A two-month-old girl is stable and does not need oxygen support. She was previously admitted to hospital for COVID-19 on October the 12th and discharged a week later. She was admitted again on November 3rd for the inflammatory syndrome. Two other boys, three and eight years old, have recovered from MISC. According to the health ministry, the four children are among the 8,000 pediatric COVID-19 patients since the start of the pandemic. Here to lend his expert opinion is Dr. Liu Wei Kang from the Pediatric Allergy, Immunology, Rheumatology Centre. Welcome to the show, Dr. Liu. Do parents, first of all, need to be worried about MISC linked to COVID-19? Thanks, Olivia, for the uh, opportunity. Yes, parents should be concerned about MISC because this is a severe complication of COVID. But thankfully, most kids recover fully from their COVID infection. Um, and currently, Singapore is just starting to see our first few cases of uh, MISC in our children. Dr. Liu, what are the risk factors of uh, getting infected with MISC? So far, we have very limited experience in Asia. Uh, most of the reports of MISC comes from West as well as the European countries. And only factor that seems to have come out from these series is that uh, obesity is one of the significant risk factors for young children developing MISC. In the US, there are some minority races like Blacks which seems to be overrepresented. Doc, when you've treated MISC patients before COVID-19, pre-COVID-19, you know, what is the typical outlook for them? Well, Olivia, MISC is actually a new disease. It's a new phenomenon that has arisen since uh, this COVID-19 pandemic. It is um, sort of like sharing some features with other common diseases we have treated in the past, like Kawasaki with the red eyes, with the fever, with the rashes, with the neck lymph swelling. But on top of that, uh, MISC has more gastrointestinal symptoms, more neurological symptoms, and it's an highly uh, a new phenomenon that we have seen after Rune has been diagnosed and recovered from COVID-19 infections. So, doctor, according to a study in The Lancet, MISC typically develops about two to six weeks after a child has been infected with COVID-19. So, what is COVID-19's uh, impact on the potential for getting MISC? Yeah, very good question. MISC is a um, post-infection phenomenon. So, COVID-19 infection is a requisite. Um, so, in MISC, the immune system just goes into drive in the inappropriate and as swelling and inflammation that affects multiple organs in the body. and as a result of that multiple organs fail the most common symptom includes low blood pressure and these children are sick require ICU admissions to uh, have medications to bring up their blood pressure and some of the other organs that are affected will need target so sometimes um, these fully recover, but we are still learning and there are some always um, uh, residual effects of these uh, MIS the organs. Well, Dr. Liu, thank you so much for taking the time to explain all of this to us today. I've been speaking with Dr. Liu Wei Kang, who specializes in pediatric immunology.